is Matt and welcome to Calitas Projects where we make cool electronic projects using off-the-shelf products. Today we're going to make an RGB LED cube. For this we're going to use the Seed Studio LED Cube Kit which is basically all you need to make a, a cube out of LEDs. We're going to use the Rainbow Arduino which is basically an Arduino board uh, but with a um, LED driver that can drive up to 192 LEDs which is more than enough. In order to program the uh, Rainbow Arduino we're going to use a serial to USB adapter that's called uh, the UART SD uh, that plugs right in the Rainbow Arduino like so and then can plug using a, uh, this cool retractable USB cable directly into your computer. So, let's get started. But first, let's take a look at the tools you will require. Uh, first, if you have a soldering iron, uh, for this project, pretty much any soldering iron could would do, but having a nice uh, temperature regulated soldering station is always a good uh, thing. It's always easier, and uh, you get to set the temperature you need exactly right. Uh, wire cutters. Uh, in order to cut the leads off things and to cut wires and a third hand. This is not absolutely required but uh, it's always useful when doing lots of soldering that, that we're going to do now. Uh, first, the LED kit. Uh, the LED cube kit by Seed Studio. This kit is a very nice kit. First, it comes in this nice uh, little box which can be obviously reused as a project box or to uh, store your components or whatever you can imagine. And then uh, let's see what it has inside of it. So first we get the um, main PCB where everything will be mounted on. Then we get the frame PCB which uh, is going to make up the cube where all the LEDs will be mounted. A few electronic components and headers and we'll see uh, later how we are going to mount these on the board. And 64 RGB LEDs. These LEDs are very cool. These are 8 mm RGB LEDs, which means they have um, leads for red, green, and blue. And when you power those in certain proportions, you can generate any color you want. So, let's get started with the soldering.
the cube is complete and it was a lot of soldering it's very important to solder one two three four jumpers here and four jumpers on the B side as well The jumpers are soldered. Now let's have a look at the base. So now we're done with uh, soldering the, the baseboard, let's put two things together. So we put the two things together, basically putting side B on side B and side A on side A. And let's solder even more. So now we have the cube and the rainbow Duino, it's just a matter of putting them together. So take the cube, uh, we connect the rainbow Duino on top and we connect it like so. So red with red, perfect. There we go. Also we can power the rainbow Duino directly from this power regulator. So for that we connect this here. remove it. So we connect the GST and we set it to GST. Put it on the cube and put these wires in there. So v in is red. And black is ground. Alright, so we are done soldering the cube, we soldered all the joints, we put the rainbow Duino in the back, connected the power, now next step is to program the rainbow Duino with the URSB, and uh, we'll be pretty much done. So let's go to the computer. We are here at the computer, we have the uh, Arduino software, the LED cube connected to the rainbow Duino, the USB interface. Uh, Connected to the USB cable and then the serial output that goes into the Rainbow Duino, so we connect it. We upload the sketch, which we have done previously, and now let's power it up and see how it goes. So, let's see, power adapter, power it back. And let's see, this is the first time I tried, so if it doesn't explode, it's always good. And there we go, the LED cube. Let's have a closer look at this. Uh, now that it's ready, uh, let's turn off the lights and see how it looks. Alright, now we have successfully programmed the cube, 
um, it's cycling all nice colors of course you can program it to do whatever you want display patterns uh, switch very bright colors whatever you can imagine you can basically program it it's really really simple and you can use the sample program in order to create your own program for my cube I quickly created this paper cover and what it does is that it diffuses the light so it's not as sharp and uh, I think it looks quite nice. I might improve the cover in the future but for now it looks pretty cool. We hope you enjoy the project and uh, stay tuned for many future projects. I am Carlos Esmat and this is Calidus Projects.